Last episode, the terrible Paloma poisoned Sweet Veronica's guava juice. And I love guava juice. Well, anyway, things do not look good for our adorable angel, Veronica. I don't know how she'll ever be able to take my test now. Let's see what happens next. Hello, my luscious Guanabana. Do you have some love for me today? No. No, Paloma. I am a horrible person. How could I have believed that you loved me? You used me to hurt Veronica. Oh, my dear. I would never hurt our little Veronica. It is sad that she is in a coma. But they say she drank some bad guava juice, and it made her a wee bit sick. Let's stop talking about her. Come to Paloma, big boy. No. No, never again. I can only hope that Veronica will someday wake from her coma. I will apologize and ask for her forgiveness. I do not deserve her. I would give anything to have her love again. You idiot. Veronica is not going to wake up from her nap anytime soon, lover boy. Why not be with somebody who is alive and who wants you? I am going to the hospital to see Veronica. I never wanted him anyway. I never wanted any of them. I know, I know, you thought I was dead. Well, I am. Just before I died, I told my two granddaughters that I wanted them to learn English. They will each get part of my fortune if they pass an English test one year after my death. Time to learn more English. Just teacher. Once I pass the test, Francisco will say I can finally get married. You must make sure that I pass that test so I can get the money. I will make her love me. I have a plan. 